I am, oops, excuse me. <clears throat> I am, okay, what? <laughs> no. Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I just got done filming a life update. In that video, with all of my sit down videos, I don't have a microphone, but I've realized that I kind of, I might want to upgrade to like a nice microphone that kind of like clips onto me or I can like hold or something like that. But in the meantime, in between time, I've been using my voice, I've been using the voice recorder app on my iPhone and I just prop it on this or this iPhone stand and I just put it like this in the video you can't see the phone but I just keep the the phone right here next to my mouth so that way you all can hear me better in the video so if you're a content creator I would highly recommend you using your iPhone's app the voice recorder to record your voice to have better uh, audio in your videos especially if you're doing sit down videos because I, f I find it like it's just something that I notice more now. Like when the audio sounds good, I'm I'm listening. Okay, I'm here. I'd be like, damn. Sound like you right in my living room. Like it's just it sounds really good. Um, it is currently what time is it? It's 1:36 in the morning. And I like filming sit-down videos at night because I'm able to use my uh soft box lighting and I can uh, and the lighting is controlled lighting. But yeah, yeah, I'm about to take my makeup off. It is July 4th weekend. I ain't got no plans, baby. I'm not doing nothing. I'll be home enjoying my rent. Okay. Other than that, I will talk to you all later. Hey, y'all. So today is the next day. I'm currently in the house. Like I said, y'all, I'm finna enjoy this rent. I'm in the house and I'm setting up to film one reel that I have in mind that I can obviously cross promote across YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Pinterest, all that good stuff. I do have a list. Let me see if I can find it. I do have a list of like my to-do list. I literally make a to-do list every single day. And if I do something that day and it wasn't on my to-do list, I write it down and I cross it out because it just makes me feel better. <laughs> so here's my quick little to-do list for today. Um, clean the bedroom, clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen and the living room, pretty much clean my apartment clean my apartment not a deep cleaning but just putting things away and wiping down the counters and then I wrote on here that I want to film a get dressed with me or a get ready with me um, I'm gonna do a talking version for TikTok and then I'll just be getting ready without talking on my Instagram I want to edit a few videos that I haven't edited already just like short clip videos my camera's about to die please don't die I'm gonna film a skincare routine featuring some Osea products and then I also want to film my living room transformation so as you can see in the back right there is a pillow for my living room and then i have uh, uh pictures that i want to swap out from decenio these two uh pictures are also from decenio but i just ordered some more and i want to make it a little bit more spring-like summer-like add a little bit more color because gold black green you know it's okay but I want some bright colors. Anyways, I'm about to set up and go ahead and get started with filming. My camera's about to die, but I'm gonna charge you up a little bit so y'all can see some of the behind the scenes. So let me go ahead and oh, let me go ahead and charge y'all up, and I will talk to y'all in a second. Okay, so here's the thing. I used to film all of my content on my Sony ZV-1. And when I say all my content, I'm talking about reels and things like that. But for a little while now, I've been realizing that it's just so much easier for me to use my phone to film content. The quality is still there. And me not have to worry about anything other than just editing the clips on my phone and posting it onto my social media platforms. So I go ahead and set up my camera onto the tripod. I put it in a specific spot and I really need to take a picture of how it looks every time because there's a certain angle that I like to get while I'm in my room filming. Yeah, I set it up and then right behind my camera, well I guess this is like kind of like a behind the scenes of me shooting reels in my room. So let me show y'all. So many damn water bottles, Dominique. All right, so as you can see, I have a circle mirror propped up um, and this circle mirror is propped up on my nightstand. And the reason why I prop, 
prop it up here is so that way I can see if I'm centered in my phone while I'm shooting back here because I use the back, the front facing camera to film everything. So when I stand over there, I can still see myself in this mirror while I'm standing over there, if that makes sense. I just use the mirror to see if I'm in frame. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start filming and shooting so that way I can get some of this content out of the way. <sighs> Y'all. Just as I was getting ready to start filming after finding good lighting, I realized that I forgot my black heels in the car. And mind you, they've been in my car for days. And every time I go in my car and I'm about to get out and I see them, I'll be like, bro, just take them out the car. And I'll be like, nah, I'll get it next time. Good thing I didn't have that on, that full blown two piece ensemble. And I don't know, something wrong with the elevator. I tried to call the, ele the elevator, the elevator didn't come down. And to be honest, I don't really trust my elevator. How to get the heels from the car. Jeez, man. All right. Like, you know, I got on a whole like Skims. You know, I got like on a whole Skims outfit. So I was like, just in case I run into any like weird man, like, let me just put a jacket on. So, let's go ahead and get started now. Hmm. Okay, so the power just went back to filming. <laughs> A wrap <laughs> for that oh. I forgot the necklace you know what oh I forgot the necklace I don't care shh I said shh don't worry about it fuck that necklace no I'm not refilming that okay so that's one thing on my to-do list that I can cross off let's go ahead and cross her off get her together Talking and IG. Can edit that film that. I could film that later. Ooh, film the living room transformation. My living room is clean. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to film that hoe, okay? I'm about to film my living room transform transformation and then I will film my Osea skincare routine tonight. And maybe I can film, I'll write this down as optional film my like film an unready with me and show like all the products that I use on my skin to take my makeup off and they're all Dermalogica so yeah that's a good thing though that's a good thing I love the Dermalogica products that they sent me in they sent me this months ago and I'm still using it. And I will forever be a stand of their pre-cleanse and their daily exfoliant and their special cleansing. Oh, 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 it's so good. So I might film that, but that's optional. I won't be mad if that doesn't happen, but I don't want to exert myself too much because it ain't no electricity in this mug like, and it's hot. <clears throat> see, they talking about it. Let me see if I can hear. Yeah, they talking about how the power went out. I'm gonna close my door. Save all this good air. Look, it's the fan, it's the switch. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, the power is out. And it better not stay out for long, I swear to Bob. I'm, I'm laughing, but I'm dead serious. Like, this is an emergency. <laughs> but, okay. So, let me go ahead and get ready to film my living room transformation. And hopefully that turns out nice and how I want it to be. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get started on that because I know I can complicate things and make it harder than what it needs to be. I actually can't film. I literally just got dressed in this 
dress that I got from H&M maybe like two years ago. But I cannot film this because one, the power is out and two, my phone is red. So I would have to go to my car and charge my phone up. It's literally on 20% and content is not more important than my safety, okay? So I won't be filming that, but damn. It's a beautiful day, bro. I heard when the power went out. While I was filming, I I, I heard the power and I was like, the power go out? You know, cause it kind of be like a loud, like thump or a thud, like doom. Like a dramatic movie is about to turn on. And this is about to be dramatic. I don't want to be dramatic. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They need to go on and fix this. They need to go on and fix this. Or else I'm gonna just be in Target. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Target. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Target then. What can you do? What is today, Saturday? Ooh, I go get me a frozen lemonade from um, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I'm just looking at them on Instagram. It's funny. Oh, look at Monroe. Look at these cargos. These cargos that Monroe is wearing. <laughs> Let me start from the top. These cargos that Monroe is wearing. Everything. Oh. But they're from the Attico. I already seen them. Oh, she let she let us know there's a dupe. From at Zara, 7385489. 7385489. I'm going on the Zara app right now to see if I can find it. 73. Okay, Monroe. Oh, well, she did say in store. I just want to hear the doo doo. You know, know that my AC and my lights are, my electricity are back on. I was about to say, did I not pay my electricity bill? But like, no. I just paid it. Didn't I, wasn't I just saying earlier that I tried to take the elevator and the elevator wouldn't work and I don't trust my elevator? Imagine me going on the elevator and then the ele Imagine me going on the elevator and electricity, the power cuts out. Ooh, woo, woo. Yeah, the Attico cargos are twelve hundred. Twelve fifty. Thirty thousand? That's what it's giving. Anyways, y'all, my birthday is coming up. Let me just chat with y'all. So my birthday is coming up and it's in like the next couple of weeks. I really just want to have a nice dinner, a cute little cake, and a nice outfit and call it a day. I don't know. I invited uh I invited some people to Atlanta, so if they come, they come. If not, whatever. I'll probably go to Miami then if they don't come. I'll probably go to Miami because I'm from Palm Beach and it's just easy. So, I don't know. But then I'll be saying all of this and I won't be doing nothing, child. So, we'll see. But I do want to celebrate myself this year. I'm not a big birthday girl. I'm not a big birthday person. I just, I don't know. It's just like... Yes, thank God for another year, but I'm also that type of girl that I don't make a big deal about my birthday. I just, my birthday comes around, I do something, I go out on a nice dinner, someone pays for it, and we call it a night. Like, that's it. But I don't have like a thing like, oh, it's my birthday week or my birthday month and I do everything every day for, no. My birthday is one day, baby. And that's just what it is. But, um, Oh girl, I don't know what that was. It was a pen roller. But I, yeah, I don't have, I don't do like, oh, it's my birthday week. Da, 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 da. I don't do that. Maybe I don't have enough money to do that, but you know, when I get some more money, maybe I'll be like, oh, it's my birthday week and everybody's celebrating me for a week. See, my camera's about to die. Now I'm not gonna have nobody to talk to. Cause I can't even charge y'all up. Let me go to my car. Let's go to Target. The electricity is back. Girl, and I was just getting ready to go to my car because my phone was getting real low. I'm talking 8% low, okay? I was like, I'm not letting my phone die. The electricity's back on, yes! And my camera's still about to die. So I will talk to y'all later. All right, y'all, so it is later. 
Later in the day, I'm currently making macaroni and cheese. I haven't made mac and cheese in a minute. This is gonna be, ooh, okay, Dominique, relax now. Cover it up. Currently making mac and cheese. I'm making seafood mac and cheese. I have some crab, I have some crab legs that uh, I had in the fridge. I have purchased a few days ago, but got some crab legs, I got some shrimp that I'm gonna put in this macaroni and cheese and put it in the oven. I should have started this video sooner, but I was watching Kendra's new upload, which is, I think it was the summer 2022 trends. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, summer 22 fashion trends. Um, and she was talking about, the, I agree with all of her opinions, especially the Bermuda shorts. I don't know, I can't get into them. I don't think I could, well, I think I could pull it off, but I just don't see myself buying it. It's either gonna be cut off like short shorts for me or no shorts. There's no in between, yeah. Let me taste this real quick. Mm. That's good. Throw my crab meat in it. Making some macaroni and cheese, some seafood mac and cheese with a side of broccoli so that I have something to eat because I was gonna go get me something to eat, but the idea of running outside, what am I doing, walking in a circle? The idea of going outside to, to get food, nah, I don't feel like it. I just don't feel like it. I didn't film the living room thing. I, I really should have, but I was on the phone with my sister and then I got kind of like distracted, trying to come up with a budgeting plan and things of that sort. And it's just like, ugh, I, got, I just added more things to my to-do list and here I am. So I didn't film anything else, but I will edit just so that I, I can continue to stay consistent with posting and I wanna be more consistent on uh, YouTube, like I really do. Because I started on YouTube, this is where I started posting content. Started on YouTube with like 2012. And so I wanna just continue to post on here because yeah, I know we love a good short form content like a 30 second reel or I don't know about y'all, a three minute video on TikTok, which I don't, it depends on what it is, but I don't know. Just something about YouTube. I feel like when I wanna get to know someone and if they have a YouTube channel, I go to their YouTube channel, I just watch. I just watch them on YouTube. Because if you, Cause on Instagram, you can get to know people if, if they're on their stories and they're talking all the time, but if they're not, then all you're seeing is their posts, maybe you're reading their caption, things like that. But YouTube, I feel like that's where you really get to know people. And so, like I said, if I'm interested in getting to know someone and they have a YouTube channel, I just go to their YouTube channel. <laughs> and I watch their YouTube videos just to kind of get to know them. Just to get to know you better, baby. That's how, that's how. But yeah. The way I make my mac and cheese is I boil the noodles in chicken broth. And once that's done, I add all my cheeses, you know, Parmesan, mozzarella, sharp, all those cheeses. And I also add sour cream to the mix, I uh, season the mac and cheese with salt, pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, yes I do, yes I do, that will never change. <laughs> and then, oh and I also use Kobe Jack as well. And then I add it to the pan and I add heavy whipping cream to it. <gasps> you know what I forgot to do y'all? Beat, beat an egg. Uh, I still got time, let me do that. only made a cup of mac and cheese, so I'm just gonna crack one egg and just add it straight to the pan. It's not too late to add the egg. A little bit of pepper. 
Dove Whipping Cream. I said just added it to the mix real quick but i just made a cup of macaroni and cheese and i'll be measuring out my food y'all okay i don't measure out the seasonings but i measure out my food like i literally measured one cup of noodles just so that way i'm not wasting food you feel me because you can think especially when it comes to pasta or noodles like you can add in a cup. Once it's done boiling, it's gonna look like a lot. You feel me? So yeah, I just measure out my food. And like I said, especially my pasta, I measure out my rice. If I'm cooking a cup of rice and I only want a cup of rice, I measure it out. I do not eyeball a cup. <laughs> Cause again, I don't want to waste food. This is my mac and cheese before it goes into the oven. I would add some chunks of butter to the top, but I just don't feel like doing that. I'm um, gonna throw it into the oven. I will come back on here once the mac and cheese is done. I'm gonna throw the broccoli on the stove as well. Just steam it. And then I'll show you all the final macaroni and cheese. All right, so this is the mac and cheese. I've done better, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I've done better, but I'm not mad at it, like I said, so. And that will be it for this part of the vlog. I will see you all tomorrow. In New Orleans, either it's a highway, whether it's a river, whether, you know, there are certain markers that separate us, but even then, that Happy Tuesday. Today is July 5th. I am, oops, excuse me. <clears throat> I am, okay, what? <clears throat> I just got done getting ready. Um, last night I did my hair because I just was not feeling the best about the bob and the braids underneath were getting really, really old and I was like, I'm not feeling it. And because I have to like, you know, do things with my face on social media, it's like, I want to feel my best, so I was like, let me take them things out. I already know the style that's gonna make me look right, which is the slick back bun. So I love this style on me. I think it shows off a lot of my facial features and I am at it, okay? I am about to head over to Linux to make some returns to Zara. If you watched my last vlog featuring my girl, Rebecca, we had shopped a bit of the uh, Zara sale, so some of those pants don't fit me and I'm gonna have to make some returns, okay? If I don't like some, I'm returning it. I don't keep it. The only way I'll keep it is if, like, it was less than $20. Even that, I'm like, if I can go to the store and return it, I'm returning it. So, <laughs> I'm about to make some returns, and then I'm also going to be looking at an apartment. So, I'm looking at one apartment today. I might be moving. It's like, 
I don't know, I might, I might move. So I'm gonna check out that apartment, see what it's looking like, and then that'll be it. I'm coming right back home because the weather calls for rain and I'm not trying to be caught out in the rain. Also, this is my outfit. I have on my Lucky Day tee that I got from his Candy Drip tour when he came to Atlanta. These jeans, I believe, are from H&M. They have a split hem. Let me try to bring y'all down some. Yeah, these jeans are from H&M. They have the split hem right here. And then I'm just gonna be wearing my Jordan 1s. Um, and this is gonna be my outfit. Something really simple, very casual, nothing too crazy, nothing too major. So yeah, let's go ahead and get out the door. <laughs> I think it's this wooden piece. Oh, that's a B.
attractive, I'm sorry, I'm not more lady like I'm sorry, I don't shake my legs at night. I'm sorry, I'm not your baby mama. I'm sorry, you got karma coming to you, collect your soul, get it right. No. <laughs> no. It's a no. So I just toured MMA Linux. No. It's a no. It smell like weed in there. It stinks. No. And I'm just like trying to figure out. No. <laughs> so they have two areas. They have the high rise and the mid-rise um buildings the mid-rise building is pretty outdated there's carpet all throughout which is something like i'm not willing to go back to i don't care sorry I'm not doing it no mm -mm. i can't do it immediately upon entering the high-rise building because this is where the leasing office is um it just stank. It just it, it don't smell good. <laughs> I can't do it. No, I can't do it. The gym was nice. The pool y'all seen is kinda like dirty. Granted, maintenance is cleaning up and stuff like that, but it's just I don't know, I just feel like there could be a lot going on at every, any given moment here and it's a no for me. Like, nah. No ma'am. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna head over to Linux so I can make the Zara return. Like I said before, I hope my camera does not fall. I just recently bought a car mount for my camera. See, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, let me just do what I need to do. But yeah, this is the building. This is how it looks. Um, and it's a no. This is the mid-rise building right here. And then back there, not that one, but back there was the, the high-rise. And I'm just not feeling it, y'all. I'm not feeling it. I'm not ready, I'm not ready for that. I'm just not. <laughs> Ooh, girl. What's the giving? No. <laughs> but I'm a, like I said, I'm about to go to Linux real quick. Let me make sure I know where I'm going. But yeah, it's not happening. At least not for me. I'm just not prepared for it. I don't want to have to deal with it. Eat like if I don't mind people smoking weed, you know what I mean? But I don't want where I live to be a residence, like a place where people just out here stinking. No. <laughs> no. No. It's it's loud. And I don't want to have to come home to that and, you know, inviting people over if I if I ever do do that. <laughs> like, I don't want that to be a thing. And mm -mm. so, yeah, yeah, I just it's a no, but I recorded it just in case y'all wanted to, you know, if you're looking for an apartment and things like that. I don't think I'll be doing like, I don't know, maybe I will, but I might do an apartment hunting video or just like record different apartments that I go to so that way if you're in the um, search for a new apartment in Atlanta you'll have something to reference but nah girl he bet <laughs> Okay, so I'm back in the house and I wanna share with you all everything that I got from Zara. 
Oh, also, would y'all believe that I ran into a high school friend of mine? Hey, Marsha, if you're watching this. Uh, Marsha and I went to high school together and we ran track with one another. And I, something's going on with this camera because it's just, it stops focusing for whatever reason. Now it's looking crisp and clear. Uh, but yeah. I ran into her, I had my mask on and everything, and I was looking down, and I just see somebody just like standing there like a statue, and I look up, and I'm looking at her, and I was like, oh, Marsha! <laughs> it was so good to see her, and it's so crazy, because just like two weeks ago, uh, she had DM'd me, and she was like, yo, we need to link up and go out for drinks or something. Like, we need to meet up, because we haven't seen each other in years. I haven't seen Marsha since high school, and I graduated high school in, 2011 so it's been a very long time anyway she looks amazing again hi marcia okay so let me share with y'all everything that i got from zara and i went in there to make some returns and left with more things so much so that when she rang me up and she told me the price i was like did you put it did you put it towards this purchase like did you put my returns towards and like she was like yes i did and i was like you sure? Because when you can, and I was like, I'm so confused. Cause I was like, how did it rack up to $70? But she was absolutely right. It's just, I can't control myself. Anyways, so here is, here's the first thing that I bought. I know this has matching pants to go with it, but it didn't have the pants in the store. And you know what? I might look online for it, to be honest, because I like this, uh, this pattern. And really quick fun fact, I, for the longest like years i think ever since high school or freshman year of college i stopped wearing the color brown because it would make me look naked and i didn't feel like it complimented my skin tone because it just kind of meshed right into my skin tone if that makes sense so when i seen this i was like mm, i don't know if i want to get it because the base of it is brown right but it's the colors on it the blue the orange the black Oh, it's so good. It's so nice. And the material feels really good. But um, yeah, it's a blazer. <clears throat> it's a blazer. I got it in a size. Should I do a haul? Ulta. This is my birthday month, July. Um, Ulta gives out free gifts. Uh, this is the Lancome mascara. Look at Zendaya on the front. She's just everything. Um, ooh. But yeah, it comes with like a mini mascara inside, which I needed some mascara. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm, that smells like mascara. Ooh, it's a curved brush. Now, this is what I went to Ulta for. There, uh, I went to Ulta for the Real, Techni Real Techniques setting brush, y'all. It comes packaged like this. This setting brush, mm -mm -mm, the flavors are melting on my tongue. Like, there's, this is a good brush. If you do not have this brush, run out to Ulta and get you it. I use this brush. This is the setting brush in 402 again this is by real techniques i use this brush to blend out my under blend out my under eye concealer i also use it to set my under eye concealer which is why i bought another one because i want one to be just for setting it and the other one to be for concealer but this is really good and i honestly should have bought another one because that girl again this is the setting brush by real techniques and the number 402 next I got some more brushes because I needed it. I bought an e.l.f. concealer brush because I have one concealer brush that I use that's by Morphe and I just feel like I need more than one. So I got this one by e.l.f. And then from Morphe again, I got a blending brush. This is their Pro Firm Blending Crease Brush in the number M441. And I'm gonna use this to um, blend out any like eyeshadow that I wanna put on my eyelids. And when I mean eyeshadow, I just mean like bronzer just to buff it out. So there's that. And then the last brush that I got from Morphe is their Small Chisel Fluff Eyeshadow Brush, which is pretty much just a smudge liner brush that I needed because I am enjoying putting black liner on my waterline. 
um, it's nice and I like it. So here's the brush that I'm gonna be using just to smudge out the waterline right here. And then, because I don't have a black liner and because I only use gel liner from e.l.f., I was like, let me just get a black liner because I feel like it would be so much easier for me to use. Uh, so I got the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in Black. Very excited to be using a gel liner again. Ooh, this looks good. It'll just be easier, you know, just whoop, 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 and go on about my business. Uh, that's everything. Oh, and then lastly, to be able to use a $10 uh, off coupon, <laughs> I had to get my total up to $40. So I just picked up another Touchland uh, hand sanitizer, but this one is the Aloe U one. I always get the watermelon one because they only have two cents at Ulta, at the Ulta that's near me, which is the aloe and the watermelon, I believe. So I was like, let me just get the aloe this time. I'm not sure if it'll smell like anything in particular, but it's just something new and something nice to look at. But I went to TJ Maxx and I got me some more pans because I needed some, y'all. Like, I needed some. This one, wait, I only bought one? Oh, I did leave the other one. The other one was smaller than this and more expensive. The other one was $25 for a smaller one than this. I still should have bought it because I really need it. <laughs> but I just wasn't feeling it at the time, okay? So here's the pan. It's by All Clad. That's the name. And I bought it for $20. Very nice. Very excited to use it. And more excited to throw out my other one because that one is just doing bad. Went into TJ Maxx and I got me a two-piece sleep set because I really needed I really needed it so I got this cute little top and then some shorts to match with it uh yeah I will not be wearing this sleep set outside because that's what I usually do I just buy like matching sleepwear like a sleepy sleepwear set and I wear it outside because it just looks good but the material on this no no, no girl it's staying in the house and then when my, this is when my camera died, when I left the mall and I went to the hair store. But I wanted to show y'all what, what I got from the hair store, which are eyelashes. I usually get the INV Matte 08 eyelash, but they didn't have any. So I just got the one closest to it, which is 07. I don't know if it will perform the same, but we'll see. And then I picked up some more lashes, the C Curl 01 lash by INV again, I believe. Yep. And then the uh, L Curl in 02, which I like these the most. They're nice, wispy, not too much going on with that. Got some more edge control because, girl, I needed some. And the Edge, what is this, Edge Fixer by Kiss, the one where Saweetie's on the label. Love it, love it, and I will keep repurchasing it. I've never tried the pineapple one though, so I don't know how it smells. I got a rat tail comb and then I got some gel. Y'all, if you, if you are in search of a gel and you want to use Eco Styler, which is something that I swear by, you need to get the one that is the black castor and flaxseed oil Eco Styler gel. I don't know what it is about this one, but this one in particular is just so good. It's so good. And here's a tip. If you, if you don't feel like this Eco Styler gel works for you, I would say leave your bottle open so that way it dries out a little bit and it gets tacky once it gets tacky that's when it works the best in my opinion uh when it's like fresh and brand new it still works for me but when it's tacky i love to use it for my edges because it lays my edges down okay i don't know what it is but it lays my edges down uh, but yeah that's everything i done just made a mess oh my gosh but yeah, that's everything that I got while I was out shopping today. And this is exactly why I've been home since last week of Thursday because I just get to swiping, you know? But everything that I buy is, are things that I really need, you know? Maybe except for the Zara shoes. I didn't really need that. But everything else I needed and I'm glad that I got it. Uh, my Lucky Day shirt. I already explained to y'all this, but if I didn't, I got my Lucky Day shirt from his concert when he was in Atlanta, the Lucky... I mean the lucky day the candy drip tour love this tee this is my first time wearing it and yeah that is it so if i'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day i will talk to y'all tomorrow maybe i really don't know y'all yeah i'll talk to y'all tomorrow because i need to figure out what i'm gonna eat so bye y'all hey y'all today is wednesday july you know the date um so i just got off of work and 
I had two packages at the front office waiting for me. So I went downstairs and I picked them up. I wanna unbox them on camera with y'all. Y'all know like when I'm sitting down, I usually have y'all on my windowsill, but today I was like, let me just switch up the location. But um, y'all know when I sit y'all down or I'm sitting down on the floor, I'm about to unbox some things. So here's the first package from Amazon. I actually need to buy some more SD cards because I don't have no space for real. What did I get from Amazon? Oh, I, I just told y'all that I bought a car mount for y'all and this is what came in. It was supposed to come on Friday, but it came in earlier. So I picked up this new car mount because the one that I have is just stupid, honestly. And I want my car mount to hang from my windshield. So this is the one that I got. I will leave links to it down below if you are interested in it. Um, let me just take it out real quick. Little disc. Again, I already have this disc on my in my car. And then each stand or the tripod. Oh, this don't bend? Why is this so tough? Okay, so this is it. <laughs> I plan on putting y'all right here. Turning this to loosen it, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Turn it to loosen it, tighten back up. So imagine, this is the windshield, right? And why is this bitch not, okay, it's bending. It's the windshield. This is y'all. This is me vlogging. Hey y'all, I'm in the car driving to such and such. Yeah, that's what this is for. I also picks up another product. It comes in this cute little packaging. How cute is this? And this is where you can find them online. But I picked up a uh, phone holder, something that I can put on the window, the window, something that I could put Something that I could put on my mirror while I'm in the shop or, oh my gosh, what am I saying? I bought a phone holder to put on the window while I'm in the bathroom if I wanna talk on my phone and it can be on the mirror. But unless your phone is supposed to go here, child, I don't know, I didn't expect that. We'll see, I'm gonna I'm play around with it. Anyways, those, that's everything that I got from Amazon. Um, but I'm also prepping, which I'm also prepping for my birthday, so I'm, I picked up a few things. I don't know why this camera don't like to focus on me no more, girl. But um, I picked up a few things for my birthday. I bought my birthday outfit. Hopefully everything comes together, but one of the pieces came in and it is from Nasty Gal. It's from Nasty Gal and let's see. I bought it in two sizes. I bought it in a six and a four because I ain't got time for it not to be fitting. Should I show y'all? Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind when I'm editing. So I bought a skirt. Ooh, it does shed. Ooh, this is kind of big. Is it? Not that big. So this is the skirt. This is all that I'm showing you though. So don't get too excited. I bought the six just in case the four was too small. So this is it. It's already shedding though, y'all. So be prepared or be aware. This is cute. Not as fluffy as I thought it was gonna be, but still very cute. And that's all that I got. <laughs> so I will chat with y'all a little later. And if I'm not doing anything, y'all, I will talk to y'all tomorrow, but it ain't nothing. Listen, it ain't nothing special. Like I said, um, last, or not last night, a couple of days ago, I picked up all of the pieces for my birthday, shoes, the top, the skirt. Um, the only thing that I'm missing is a bag and I'm looking for like a nice little cute little bag or whatever so yeah that's it <laughs> hello everyone happy um i don't know what is it today today's july 7th um i'm just taking a really quick break before i jump into another meeting but y'all i just posted something on my instagram where i was talking about how if you're gonna record a video and you're using background music like bring the background music down just a little bit and yeah, a lot of y'all are, a lot of the people that follow me on Instagram kind of like agreeing with it. Cause it's like, how am I supposed to hear anything that you're saying? Like if you're gonna put background music in your video, then okay. But you know, we all have different ears. So we all hear things differently. But for me, I just be like, how am I supposed to hear what you're talking about when you have Bone Thugs and Harmony in the background? bumping music loud as hell, but you're trying to record a voiceover. Like, I don't know what you're talking about right now. And it could be really beneficial to me and it could be a really good voiceover, but I can't hear nothing you're saying. 
So that's the only annoying thing. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I also realized that as my platform is growing, the more I don't like talking on my stories. I don't know what it is. I just feel like, I don't know. I just don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to, I don't know. I guess being vulnerable to more people is more intimidating versus like a smaller community, which that's the only thing that I kind of miss about having a smaller account is feeling like I can say whatever I want. Whereas as I'm growing, you know, people have different viewpoints and stuff like that. And I think that shouldn't like affect how I come on my platform, but I also just want to be mindful, like more mindful about what I say and what I do on my platform. But I'm always going to be myself, child. I just might not speak on things as freely as I would have when my account was smaller. I hope that made sense. But yeah, y'all, today, oh, I think my package came in from Hanifa. I actually need to go to the front office and pick up my package from Hanifa. Oh, that's the second part of my birthday outfit. All right, y'all, so I am back in the house. Ooh, my face looks so greasy, Joe. It don't look greasy, it is greasy. All right, y'all, so I'm back in the house. Why do I look like that? Is this filter on? Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, this is no filter. <laughs> is this still on or is my skin just this nice? I think my skin is just this nice. Anyways, I got back from Liquidy Split and I got my food. Girl, if you go to Lickety Split, child, you need to um, just call it in. Just call it in. Just call it in. Because it's just too much. I walked right up to the front. I know everybody in the line was looking at me like, who does this girl think she is? Mind you, I have a full face of makeup on, lashes. I'm looking real cute. Like, it's giving VIP, okay? And it's always VIP. But I know they was looking in that line like, uh, do you not know that the line starts here? It's, but it's too obvious. Like, you don't just walk into Liggity Split and skip the entire line and be like, oh, I didn't realize it was lying. Like, there's no escape in that line, okay? So anyways, I'm glad that I called my order in and I got my food. If you know, if I'm ever getting soul food, it's always, my size are always 99.9% .9 of the time going to be collard greens and mac and cheese. It don't matter what the meat is, collard greens and mac and cheese, okay? So, I went to Lickety Split on the vlog before, but I'll show you all again for those of you all who are new and who don't remember because I don't be remembering what people be talking about for real sometimes. So, my collard greens, mac and cheese, and my catfish, which looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, my daddy calling me. Oh, my family just keep calling me. You look so handsome. You look great, daddy. <laughs> Where you at? It's a party. Uh, for you? That's for me. That's what I call you. I'll call you to let you know that. They threw you a party? Yeah, I didn't know. It's, it's kind of something I didn't even know. It's a surprise party. Yes. Yeah, because if you were here, you wouldn't come over, you know? Who threw it for you? That's so amazing. <laughs> I didn't know this was still recording. I'm a little emotional because I love my dad so much, y'all. I don't even know why I'm like talking about this right now. But a part of me like, this is so weird. I'm really happy for my dad and I'm happy that um, his like other family threw him a party and stuff like that. I 
I'm just really sad that I couldn't be there. this edge control and the back has like this protective seal that usually beauty supply stores will put on their products like um i don't know it's like a detective for like loss prevention and stuff but they put it right where you're supposed to twist it off and it just took me a good like two minutes a long two minutes <laughs> to try to take it off like why would you put it right there that's almost as annoying when they put like the stickers on a product that like home goods or target in an area where when you scratch it off there's like glue residue and now it's on like the face of the piece of item that you bought and it's like why would you put the sticker there bro anyway i'm getting ready to go to target to pick up a few things that i need that i have since run out of so I'm going to Target real quick just to pick up those items. I have a list. I'm not going with just vibes. <laughs> and this is like my favorite edge control ever. My favorite edge control is the edge control with Saweetie's face on it. Something about this edge control gel. I don't know. But it's by Edge Fixer. Am I wrong? Yeah, Edge Fixer. So yeah, I got the pineapple one this time. I usually get the strawberry one, I think, but y'all, this is some good edge control, at least from my hair. Yeah, y'all, last night was a little emotional for me, not gonna lie, but today's a little better, you know. Today's Sunday, July 10th, and I also just booked an appointment to get my bob reinstalled. I really... Okay, I really liked the way that the bob looked on me and I loved the way that I felt. But also, I rebooked it because my outfit, my birthday outfit, it just would look best with a bob. Like, I don't need long inches or anything like that. It just, it's gonna look really good with the bob. So, yeah. For perfume, just gonna wear Coach. Yeah, I want this. Mm this vibe yeah i want this vibe this is fine wait no i should have used this one i'm gonna use this one the vince camuto vince camuto makes really nice scents Ooh, really nice scents I need my eyebrows in. <laughs> it ain't no amount of eyebrow gel that's gonna get them together. Oh no, see? I just need them done. I don't have on any makeup, but the eyebrows. Y'all, do y'all remember when I bought these shades and I tried them on and I had a big old puffer coat on and I was like, I look like a whole ass meme. And at the time, like I really liked them, but I don't like, I didn't like them as much as I, I love them now. Like my hair pulled back like this or just, oh, they're everything. I love these. Um, I think that they're out of stock, but I will leave them linked down below just in case they are not. And they come in different colors. Like I've seen them in a mint green color, which is beautiful. Um, but when I purchased these, they came in black and off white or white. But I love them. They look, 
so good. I was thinking about wearing these or these that I got from Hilo Lux. Um, off of Hilo Lux's recommendation, these are an Amazon pair of shades, and they're supposed to be a dupe for the Celine shades. But um, this is the vibe that this one is giving me. Oh my gosh, I can't even see y'all in my. Okay, I can't even see y'all for real. Okay, but this is how this one looks, and I love it as well. But something about this is giving me more like polished, refined, if that makes sense, like that type of vibe. And I'm really not trying to go for that because I feel like I'm looking very clean girl aesthetic ish and I'm, I'm not really trying to go for that look I just want to look really casual and just you know but still put together and this is this is just giving me like oh she's a cool girl but she's not too stuck up you know <laughs> but yeah this is it this is the look and I would show y'all my mirror is very dirty so shut the fuck up but this is my look this is just a ribbed top from Target the pants are H&M this bag and the shades. My necklace is from D Lolo. D Lolo, this is the Creator Cartouche necklace. And then just some random earrings from Forever 21. These sandals are from Forever 21. These are the worst pair of sandals I've ever purchased from Forever 21. I would not recommend at all. Um, they're a no, but I'm gonna wear them because I don't know, they just go with the vibe. And the reason why they're a no is because my feet are not on there straight. It's like the shoe, it's just weird as F. It's just weird as fuck. So don't get these. If you see them, don't pick them up as much as you want them. Just, no, don't get them. I'm about to head out and go to Target and we're gonna pick up a few things. Like I said, I have a list on my phone. We're not going with just vibes, babes, okay? We're going with a list. But does that ever really stop anybody? <laughs> like, if you're gonna get some, you're gonna get it, regardless if you gotta listen or not. But yeah, headed to Target and, girl, I need to get my eyebrows done so bad. I need to get them done so bad, but I can't just be going to anybody, child. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to Target. Alrighty. I'm sitting here about to like see how this would look on, but girl. What? Mm -mm. See ya. See ya. Sadly enough, my camera's dying, so I'm going to talk to y'all when I get back in the car. Hi y'all, um, I am back. I'm back in my car. Um, I need to buy replacement batteries for this Sony ZV-1 or like extra batteries because the way that my camera be dying on me is hella disrespectful, especially when I be going in there thinking like, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna record, and it's like, Battery exhausted, can't help you babes. It's so annoying. Anyways, I'm about to go home and finish eating the rest of my leftovers from yesterday. Mm. I'm gonna go home and finish eating my leftovers from yesterday. I was gonna go to this like burger spot, but they're closed today. So I'm annoyed with that, but I kinda want some chicken wings and I have chicken wings at the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat my leftovers and then like do a little bit of editing and then make me some wings and like make a meal or something like that just to kind of like keep my money in my pockets, you know? Um, but yeah, done with Target. Now I'm about to just go back home. Also, I have tried to make this work, but it's not working. Every time I use it, it's really, really shaky. Uh, the footage is really shaky and that's the point of me getting this one because I thought it'd be a bit sturdier but it's just not working and I don't know if you're a vlogger and you <laughs> vlog in your car 
do you have a link because i would just like to buy what you're using because it's just i don't understand and it's like really sturdy but when the camera's on here and i'm driving it just gets really wobbly so i don't know i'm at the gas station again but i don't think this time anybody's gonna try to talk to me because it's pretty empty out here <laughs> please jesus i hope not because ugh. It ain't that much to do out here, I see you Let's play that shit back Okay, so I would love to share with you all everything that I got from Target Let me share Alright, so this is the toothpaste that I like to get It's by Tom's I don't know. I like the way that it tastes and it's supposedly natural. So I got the value pack this time because two is better than one, okay? In certain situations. But then I also know they have my line sisters coming over for my birthday, which is a whole, I gotta talk to y'all about that. But anyways, um, they'll be coming over, a few of them. And yeah, just in case somebody forgets some toothpaste. So there's that. I got Listerine because I'm over that other brand, the oral thing, because the first time I bought it, I liked the taste of it, but I've returned it on two separate occasions after finishing the first one, because those flavors are trash. One of them didn't even taste like anything at all, and the other one had like a disgusting taste. And I was like, I have to brush my teeth every day, and I need to use mouthwash, so why would I ruin the experience of brushing my teeth with some nasty ass mouthwash? So I went to Old Faithful, okay, Listerine. I feel like my dentist said not to use Listerine, but whatever. Then I got me some bar soap by Dove because I wanna try the double cleansing thing. <laughs> On TikTok, the shower top girls are talking about using a bar to pre-cleanse and using a body wash to uh, clean your body. So I'm gonna try it. And plus, I like bar body soap, um, but recently I've been just using body wash, but got me some more Dove bar soap. I got a shower liner. I picked up a shower liner from the Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 tree. And that one is just so cheap, y'all. Like it is so cheap. It's very flimsy. Even though there's magnet magnets at the bottom, I be so frustrated when I get in the shower trying to close it in a liner. It's just too much. So I just got me a sturdy one, and this is actually a medium weight. Um, this is by Target. This is their medium weight shower liner. So yeah, I needed to get me something good. And as I was walk then as I was walking around, I seen these little shorts, the rib shorts. And this is I wait no, I lied to y'all. This is not by Target. I told y'all my outfit earlier this morning, but or earlier today, this is not from Target. This came in a two piece set from Rainbow. And guess what the other part of the set is? Shorts. I didn't even need these. But these are shorter, so they're different. <laughs> then the other thing that I got is their Whiskey and Oak Crackling Wood Wick. I love candles that have crackling wood. It just sounds so nice. And it sets the tone, sets the mood. So I went ahead and picked this one up from Target. And it's a two wick, or three wick, rather. And it smells, smells divine. It's definitely giving fall vibes, but this is a time, like I would burn this around nighttime, like again, just to set the tone, set the mood for my night, and just to put me at ease, you know what I mean? Maybe when I'm taking a bath, I put this in the shower or something, I don't know. Uh, and then lastly, I got a storage basket. They're actually having a sale on their storage items 25% off. So I got this one to put underneath my coffee table because the black one that I have underneath the coffee table is now slouchy, it's ugly, and it's just, ugh, doesn't keep its shape. So this one is sturdy and I really like it and it'll definitely fit all my junk. And on top of that, it's not like a light color. I wanted something dark. So this is a darker wood finish. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. And um, the best thing about it is that it's sturdy, child. And the other best thing about it is that it's not gonna show you everything that's in here. Cause I just be throwing like random things in there that I need, but I don't wanna keep out in the open. So this'll work. But yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Target. And now I'm about to heat up some leftovers, eat, edit, and call it a Sunday. Like I'm not leaving the house after this. <laughs> I know I was talking mess about these sandals and what I said was still true, but all I had to do was like add an extra hole 
to this to make it a bit tighter around my ankle and it worked a bit better but I don't know child I don't know I need you, girl. Alley boys got some sixties in my bed. Lips sealed like pillow talking on the bed. In my yellow, got two carrots, VVS. Got a pen, I'll sneer a deal off the stairs. All this money when I grew up, I had nothing. Okay, so it is a couple of hours later, and I wanted to share with y'all my living room. I did some updates to it yesterday. I switched out some prints, like I told y'all, and I fixed up the pillows. So let me fix it up real quick before I show y'all my living room situation. Situations. Look at my living Okay, the pillow, come on now. Look at my living room. How cute. The pillow, star of the show. Look how beautiful this pillow is. I got this from Home Goods for $30, and I think it was worth it. <laughs> the pillow in the back is from Target. Look at this pillow. Ooh, so pretty. Also from Home Goods, I believe it was $25, and then this pillow here, which is nice and fluffy. Again, from Home Goods for either $30 or $25, I believe. But look at these prints. Oh, these prints are everything. Both of these prints are from Decenio. I love Decenio. So I'm going to leave a link to them down below if they're still in stock. If they're not in stock, I will just leave a link for Decenio.com so y'all can see what type of prints that they have available that you would like. And oh, I'm so obsessed. I showed my mom my living room last night and I showed her this picture and she was like, that's you? <laughs> I was like, no, ma, that's not me. It's just a print. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't like the black trimming of the frame with these. Honestly, I feel like a gold trim would look better with these prints, but child, I'm not about to DIY these frames. These frames are just gonna have to do. And I think it kind of, it works out, but I would love it. I would like it much. I would like it much more if it had a gold framing. So I put everything away that I got from Target. I posted a reel on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you aren't already to see that reel. As uh, so I did the reel, I posted on a few platforms today, which I'm really happy about. Now I'm going to fold some clothes, y'all. I got clothes to fold and these are clothes that's been sitting in this basket like a week now yeah yeah like a week now but I'm gonna take a shower real quick just to kind of reset again I want to edit a video today I think I want to edit a video tonight it is such a beautiful day today and it's so crazy because the weather called for a hundred percent chance of rain with a little lightning bolt and it's beautiful outside. Oh, it's so beautiful. Granted, it's hot, but I know it's so beautiful. It looks so beautiful outside. All right, y'all. <laughs> so that is it. I'm not doing anything else for the rest of this evening. Today is Sunday, so I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog now that I can remember, okay? So thank you so, so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you are subscribing to the channel, okay? Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you all in my next vlog. Okay, I need to be, I need a plan. Oh, jeez, I need to plan what I need to plan. I'll be showing y'all some birthday things and just like getting myself together. Anyways, all right, talk to you later. Bye, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Before I close out this vlog, I need to share this with y'all. One of my reels had went really viral. I think I talked about this before. Well, maybe, I don't think I did. One of my reels went really viral and um it was because of well i think a, a big part of it was because of the top that i was wearing in that reel 
So I'm just like about to edit a video, but I was like just on H&M's website because I can't help myself. And I came across the same knit polo top, but in different colors now. So that they now have on the site, they have uh, the, they have the all black one and then they have this beautiful Kelly green color. So I bought both, <laughs> I bought both. And you know, if I don't like the all black one, I'll you know send it back, but I know for a fact, I want this green, I want this green. I love the way that it looked on me. So I was like, let me go ahead. I was like, let me go ahead and get this. Okay. So about two, it's currently 1230 in the morning. And I just posted about it on my stories because I was like, let me just get it out to the girls <laughs> before it's sold out because the tan one, the cream color one that I um, was showing in my reel, it was sold out by the time I posted it or whatever. So I don't want nobody like trying to fight me. Meek, meek, meek over no polo shirt. So yes, hopefully by the time y'all see this, it'll still be in stock, but um, Instagram always gets it first. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to, feel free to do so. So you can be notified every time I post, right? That's what the girls are saying. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get started on my edits or at least import the videos to iMovie and then by tomorrow I can like start editing. So yeah. Okay, bye y'all. <laughs>